Now I feel awkward. I don't want to do the whole intro. Well, I'm gonna walk away, bro. Fuck you guys. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome back man to yet another King James video. So today I am with the one and only Gable Kimbrough. You guys remember him from the point and shoot, $10 point and shoot video. That shit blew up by the way. <laughs> we have a new face on the channel. You want to give your own spiel? Reggie B photo. My mission is to teach 1 million people to become drivers. Follow me on IG and I promise you, you're going to learn something new. There you go. <laughs> This is my first time meeting Reggie in person. We're in Chinatown here in San Francisco, so we're gonna be doing some street photography. You guys wanna show Kit? See what we got going on? Oh, yep, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll talk about my last one. You go first, big dog. What you got? Stack C4. Got the uh, 23 1.4. Little Promis on there. Mm -hmm. Promis. Just shoot film, dog. No <laughs> way. <laughs> what you got, got Reggie? The, uh, Fuji Film XC5 with Ooh. a 33 1.4. And I have a. Um, Moment. Promise? No, oh, okay. <laughs> Cinebloom, I got a rep moment. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and I'm shooting the A7 III with the Seven Artisans lens, so. The goal tonight is to really test out the Seven Artisans 85 T2, because this is a cine lens for street photography slash portraiture. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about honestly why I think that this is a really good value for an 85 millimeter lens and why you should probably consider one if you have a Sony camera. So with that said, you guys, Let's go ahead and jump in, let's get caffeinated, and let's shoot some street photography. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's perfect. Can I get a photo of you real fast? Uh, let's do, let's just have you pull the camera up to your face and then look like you're shooting at something. Our classic go-to. <laughs> so we can flex your the XT5, you know, can we get some nice clothes up. <laughs> it's the 85 Cinelens. Manual? Yeah, it's all manual. But I'm nudging the damn aperture ring a lot, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was at F2 and I'm at 2.8. I don't mind that, actually, that works out. 
Discord. Just <laughs> go, just because I was always under the impression that like maybe. Sorry. Table, yeah, don't move. You guys fill out manual focus lenses. You love them. <laughs> I love I love how like one's like love them. <laughs> it was like <laughs> that. I tried it once. Oh, I don't think the for video. Oh, this is one of those. I gotta get in the middle of the street photos. We're on a mission, gentlemen. It's called Jaywalk. Focus. That's actually hella close. All right, here we go. That's not too bad. All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna get right in that middle hallway right here. Let's go. You ever see somebody put saran wrap in front of their lens? I see that, I know, or they'll put like Vaseline on like a lens. <laughs> <laughs> put it on your nose and then do it on your lens. Filipino tip. <laughs> we just got our laps on there. So as we are shooting the lens, one thing that I really do like you guys is the focus ring as well as the aperture ring have these little notches. And because this is a city lens, you know, these are meant for gear so that you can, you know, kind of adapt it for your autofocus or, you know, just like little systems, your rigs. But in terms of street photography, they do provide a little bit of an extra grip just so your hand doesn't slip up. So I, it's honestly something that I really, really like. And that's one thing that is keeping me very engaged with this lens right now.
All right, you guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode of 85mm Nighttime Street Photography. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Unfortunately, at this point, the GoPro batteries died and I wasn't able to film any more footage, but the last couple of photographs were taken and Reggie and Gable ended up taking off. So huge shout out to them as well for coming to shoot with me in Chinatown. If you guys want to see more of them on the channel, definitely subscribe to them and also leave a comment down below. But that's going to wrap it up. If you guys want to see more about the 7 Artisans 85mm Cine Lens, uh, stay tuned. Actually, the video should be up already where I do more of an in-depth review of the lens itself. So that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, Middle to Gay.